गाइज वॉट्स अप रजत हेयर फ्रॉम वी एफ एक्स वर्ल्ड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप यू गैज आर डूइंग एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑल अबाउट थ्री डी इक्वलाइजर एंड वेल आई विल ट्राइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू गैज कैन ट्रैक सम कूल कंटेंट्स इन साइड ऑफ दिस सॉफ्टवेयर बट दिस टाइम दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल नॉट शोइंग बैंक मी बिकॉज दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल शोइंग बैंक मिस्टर स्नेशीष बैनर्जी हु इज इंडस्ट्री लेवल एक्सपर्ट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम एज आई ऑलवेज से लेट गेट स्टार्टेड Please do subscribe my new channel the lifestyle vlogs for more fun videos vlogs and more entertaining things thank you so here is equalizer 4 today we'll show you uh, how to track a footage and uh, make a camera from equalizer this is a fresh equalizer interface uh, you can change it from here environments and make it basic so you can get all the interface in one place here is object browser here is point browser and here is deviation browser and the most important thing here is attribute editor so at first we are going to object browser and click on sequence where you can load footage just click on sequence and double click it then go to attribute editor and here a tab called live action footage just go to browse here is my footage one and uh, here is the original footage which uh, we will going to track then click it okay to load the footage you can see its color channel are very dark so we have to do a color correction before we do any color correction we have to uh, convert it 8 bit color correction just scroll down in camera attribute you can get 8 bit color correction here we have to do gamma correction and soft click correction because this is an exr footage if you are using any jpeg footage then no need to do this this is gamma you have to make it 2.2 this is a default gamma correction for exr footage and make the soft click value to 1 this is only default value if you are loading any exr footage just do this the image preparation is ready now we are going to track this before starting the track you should make sure that the footage is playable or not many time what's happen that the footage is not playing the properly so then you have to do a buffer compress so just go to playback and export buffer compression file just click it here so i have already an buffer compression so it's showing here so if you want to overwrite it then click overwrite yeah it's done just import buffer compression file again it will make cache of this image sequence this is manual tracking window here you can find it manual tracking and if you click it here here is uh, other window is also there overview controls manual tracking controls distortion grid controls auto tracking controls lineup controls and 3d orientation controls we are going to use this only manual tracking controls because we are going to track it manually not we are going to track it auto so this is no need actually auto tracking mainly we need manual tracking 3d orientation controls 3d lineup controls and overview controls for render now we are going manual tracking controls yes this is already we are here we can add points at first before starting tracking we have to choose where we gonna track the those points so we have to choose points accordingly whenever we track any footage we actually we choose any corner points or dark points or light points we never choose any reflective points or points which is not visible which is movable so we have to track everything from foreground to background so at first i am choosing a point at corner in foreground this is a good point just press control and then left click to take a 2d point this is track tracking box i have a short key of hide and show tracking box it's b you can obviously you can make it shortcut by own now i am going to track this i am just adjusting this one so this can track properly its pattern only you can change it from here also this is 2d tracking mode and this uh, you can find this from point attribute editor 
huh, here you can adjust project tabs you can find it from here attribute editor only project camera point group point 3d model and lens so go to point and you can find the all attributes of this points so i am going to 2d tracking mode and this is tracking mode here you can find marker edge corner and pattern basically we have to do pattern track to any track this objects this is pattern by default and i am doing this only down this uh, this is direction where you can find forward only backward only and forward and backward if you are tracking from frame number one i mean first frame then this is definitely you have to forward only and if you tracking from end of the scene then you have to do it backward only as i am tracking from frame number one then i putting this forward only just see here is one tab called track and this is for forward and this is for backward if you click on this this will track forward and the short key for this is is in keyboard i am tracking it manually you can adjust this track points up and down by pressing numpad 4 8 6 and 2 yeah it's tracked and i'm going to another track point before doing this you make sure this track point is select you can see here this point is selected if you click just you have to press uh, alt and click left then this will be deselected i am choosing another point for tracking i am choosing another corner point now we have to track it once you can see i am putting this track point at last frame it's frame 75 and it's last so automatically it's converted to forward only to backward only it's automatically happened now i am doing backward tracking yeah it's done now we have to take enough track points to solve this camera so you can see i have already take two points for this kind of sort you have to took lots of points to solve this camera properly if we have not enough points then we can't solve the camera properly i have already point tracked before and i have exported that so i am importing those points here so just i am going here point groups and i am importing the previously tracked point which i've already tracked before to show you so you can see now here is enough track points to make the camera solve properly now this is manual tracking mode and if you go line up controls here is no 3d points actually whenever you solve the camera here will come 3d points so we have to solve this camera you can see here a tab called calc where you can calculate the camera go to calc all from scratch here is the short key alt c which is by default equalizer provide alt c yeah it's perfectly solved as you can see here is the camera path which is really really good so use this result and if you go lineup controls you can see here is our 3d points you have to check these points as it perfectly tracked or not just see here here is center 2d and center 3d this is as this is 3d point i am center 2d this so it stabilized the 3d points accordingly it's perfectly tracked and the 3d points is tracking perfectly so we can show that this is a good track now the most important thing is deviation browser which is here this is deviation browser and this is deviation curve and this deviation curve is showing 0.233 this is error actually 0.233 this is our deviation curve this is very good track how can we see that this is good track because this giving 0.23 which is very very nice result whenever you getting uh, less than one then you can show that it's really good track if your error getting uh, more than one then you have to refine your points and other things this is only one curve and main curve actually this is main deviation curve you are showing if you're going here and uh, 
if you click on show point deviation curves and active points only then all the points deviation curve is showing the green one is actual deviation curve of camera and the blue ones are the points deviation curves and red one is which which is selected just like i am selecting 07 track points this is 07's deviation curve which one is red you can select other also here some deviation curves is going too much high which means this those points are not good tracked or not getting very good result which is this one so whenever you getting something like this you have to check your 2d point is good or not so i am checking this one i am going f2 which you can see it here this is manual tracking control which is f2 and this is line of control which is f5 if this is short key f5 and f2 f2 is for manual tracking so i am going to f2 mode which means manual tracking and i am checking whatever it's good or not yeah it's good but it's going too much high deviation so we have to check what is other thing that doing this track point in high deviation this could be from focal length or distortion so it's very important whenever you are tracking a camera the cameras you have to calculate the focal length the focal length is most important thing in camera so i have to calculate focal length then it can be a good result now we have to do a focal length calculation as i saw before here is you can find project camera point group point 3d model and lens just go to lens parameter and you can see here focal length so here is film back width film back height focal length film aspect and other things also you can find which is not necessary at this time the main thing is focal length we have to adjust focal length first so here you can find the 30 mm focal length which is default for equalizer equalizer provide you default focal length 30 mm but you have, you have to adjust this as per short requirement as per short purpose here you can find showing this is fixed so you have to do so you can adjust this just go to just go to windows and you can see here parameter adjustment window you can see here many windows here object browser deviation browser timeline editor curve editor attribute editor parameter adjustment window image controls window python console window and online help window all windows are very necessary for tracking any scene so you can find it here already find it here object browser point browser deviation browser and attribute editor here is not opened parameter adjust window so we have to open this one parameter object so this is parameter adjustment window and you can see it already here is added the focal length attribute which we have to adjust by default it's in brute force mode so here you can find brute force just make it adaptive for all so it's going adaptive now click on adjust now focal length is calculating yeah it's giving this uh, deviation to 0.14 previously we have 0.23 now we have 0.14 it means the focal length is adjusted so we are getting proper result of focal length value now i transferred the parameters and i calculate again you can see the deviation is getting down from 2.0.23 to 0.14 it's really a good value i am going to line up control modes yeah it's really good so you have to put cones to check whether it's tracked good we have to select all these points to make the cones now call create yeah it's going to just select all color change to the red okay i am hiding this 3d points here is called no 3d points if you click on this the 3d points will hide now you can check the cones yeah it's absolutely fine And check you have really great tracked so this is all for equalizer and we have to move to maya for next step uh, which i will show you in next video and okay thank you so much
So guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this sweet and simple 3D equalizer tutorial. And today I have Mr. Snehashish Banerjee. Snehashish, please come. Welcome to our channel, the VFX World. And this is Snehashish Banerjee, who is an industry level expert. And he is doing his work really well. And thank you, Snehashish, for giving us so many good times and making this awesome tutorial for our viewers. These viewers are really waiting for this tutorial for a long time. So thank you very much. And I hope you guys also enjoyed this video. And if yes, then don't forget to hit that like button. Please do subscribe, which is a sweet red color button over down below okay and don't forget to hit that bell button for further notification and if you really enjoyed this video then please do comment and i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy and keep watching vfx world, VFX world.